y'all, it's D. And it's Ace. And we DNA. So, <laughs> right now we're about to do a mukbang. Mukbang. I don't know how y'all explain it. But uh, I got seafood. She has two different things. KFC and then whatever. I got some Thai food from my uncle's restaurant. Thai food. And then we're going to go ahead and play this. We're going to play this um, talking point cards for couples. So basically it's like... 200 conversation starters for couples to connect and be good relationships. So, you know, we discuss like past memories, dreams together about the future, and just to fall in love all over again. Should be able to keep us pretty occupied while we eating and shit. But I'm gonna get messy though, because those of y'all don't know that eat seafood and shit, y'all know how that shit is, but yeah. shit. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Are you ready? Alright, y'all, this is what I got though. Mm, mm, mm. I'm about to fuck it up. I ain't even gonna okay, count. That's the shrimp, some crab legs, some corn, some potatoes. I don't want to dump it. But what seasoning do you get? That's lemon pepper. Lemon pepper with some mild. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't like seafood, but if he like it, I like it for him. I got from my uncle's restaurant. I got sweet and sour chicken. Ooh, that looks fire. Sour sauce right here. Mm -hmm. I also got some KFC. We got the three, the three piece big box, but finger looking. Mm-hmm. Finger looking good. But they gave us three extra pieces for free because <coughs> they kind of messed up our order a little bit. With some mashed potatoes and some sweet corn. Food ever so good to make y'all man. So what you get to drink? Got a Mountain Dew. Got a Mountain Dew from KFC. And I got some Sprites. So let's get into it. All right, I'll do the first one, I guess. But like, so there's categories. Um, so again, there's 200 question cards, four categories. Each category is designed to engage a different stage of relationship so you can have a comfortable conversation. So the yellow, the yellow cards, they are like get to know you cards. Get to know the other person in a way that. So it can be like for beginners too, all right? Yeah, it's comfortable without being too vulnerable. Mm -hmm. So it's like perfect for new relationships or first dates. So y'all can, hey, first date for y'all, right there. Yeah. It's my deal for y'all. And then green is for engaged or newly married. So talking about your future, your dreams and goals together, how your family operates. Um, so it's, this is for if you've been together for like, you know, a while. Y'all got some damn kids and shit. Mm -hmm. And then the blue ones is for long time couples. So you look past the surface and ask questions to really deeply try to truly know your partner. These are serious, vulnerable questions for those who know each other well already. And then the red ones are fun and random cards. So lighthearted, interesting, and fun. These questions are for groups, conversation starters, or icebreakers. They'll have you thinking and smiling. Am I supposed to be eating yet? I mean... <laughs> <laughs> My fault. Everybody that eats seafood, y'all know this shit get cold quick. So you gotta yeah, like... That's true. You gotta tear into it. Because... And you can't really reheat seafood. You can't do that. Because mm -hmm. the shit... It don't taste the same. You still eat it. Still gonna eat it, but... It just ain't what it was, you know what I mean? So you gotta, you gotta half ass it, half eat it when it, um, when it shit. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, go up. You gonna try some of the sweet and sour? You gonna try some of this? You gotta try the shrimp and a, uh, and a crab. She don't like seafood, the shrimp and the crab. You don't gotta eat the whole thing, like, I'll just eat a little bite of it, though. Yeah, I wasn't gonna eat the whole thing anyway. Alright, which one do you want first? Oh, hold on, let me see. Which one do you want first? Um. Maybe the shrimp, because I feel like the crab tastes better. So if you don't like anything, it'll be the shrimp. But you'll like. I feel like I'm like scared the for the shrimp because of like the crunchy, like. It, it, I don't know, you can kind of taste like. I don't know, you can feel like. Same, the like texture. a bounce back? The bounce texture. Back on it? That's the good though. That's, that's how you know you eat meat there, like that muscle and shit. You know what I'm I saying? just don't like seafood because like the I don't know. I can tell it's been, it was in the ocean. You know, I get you a little bite. 
Oh, that should look good right there. Get the body, eh? Oh! It ain't good, or what? It man? You kind of like it, or what? I told you it's like the the, the texture. Crunch. Yeah. That's just gets you. But actually, it's not bad. Bro? Yeah. I'm good. Hmm. Oh hell. That wasn't bad. Too. I mean, and cleanse your palate too. What's that? Like drink the water. Or drink oh, water. I know. I'm gonna do right now. Okay. And get the green pepper with it too. Mhm. Mm oh yeah. You want to dip the green pepper in that too? Nah, just put it on the fork with the green pepper and the rice. Yeah. Get that bite right there. chicken so we're like we need this or we asked politely we wasn't rude about it get your money's worth you know and she was like okay she goes she gets the biscuit gets the chicken that's really the end of it but the other girl asked for mm. sauce she wants to be all mean and rude god bless her soul <laughs> sorry i'll go first i got another thing potatoes though guys i wanted them large potatoes for a reason cool. I'm gonna do red, but just do fun right now. Okay. I might do some of these ones too, though. Because I know some of y'all like them. So, wait, is this a question for you or both of us? Both of us, I think. Oh, oh, oh. Mmm. Mmm. What's the question? You get something. What would the title of your autobiography be? <laughs> so, that's kind of crazy because I'm already working on writing a book. About wait, what about this is a book? How about yourself? Oh, for real? Mm -hmm. No, I'm saying, I'm saying, you have another title. No, that's hard because that title was already hard for me to do. I will do another card. Go ahead, go ahead. I'll do one more. We'll see where that one goes. What's the weirdest food you've ever eaten? When and where did you eat it? Octopus. You see, 
I don't really like seafood like that. So wait, when and where's your? No, well, actually, actually, no. What I was. It was goat, but I didn't know it was goat. So I ordered DoorDash and I got it through, um, I was trying to get the Viaria tacos. Wait, I think I've seen goat before too, actually. Like, um, like gyros. Oh, um, gyro. Huh? No, gyro. Gyro. gyro, sorry. Mm -hmm. I apologize, but yes. But anyway, I was on DoorDash. I went to DoorDash and Oh, it was lamb. Sorry, it was lamb. That's what it was. Not good. Sorry. DoorDash. So I'm on DoorDash, right? And I try to get these one tacos. And they usually are made out of goat, but here they're made out of uh, boba call or I'm butchering it, y'all. Don't come out my neck. But I thought that's what it was made out of. And then, you know, long story short, he kind of drops the food off. I open it. And me personally, I'm just not a fan of goat. So I get a whiff of it. Y'all, I ain't gonna lie. I was like, "What the fuck is that?" I'm not against people that eat it. I just personally don't like it. So you know, I was curious. I was like, "My God, I paid money for it. I'm still gonna try it." I tried it. I couldn't. I couldn't. I had to throw that shit all away, y'all. Mmm. Go to eat for me. Actually, when I was younger, I think I tried prawn legs. I'm getting into words now. Yeah, I think when you were younger. But that was weird for me. That was weird for me. Well, yeah, as a kid for sure, but. But it's still weird for you me. You think you would try it now, though? You think you try it all year? Mm -hmm. What if they weren't on the leg, though? No. Uh -uh. Can't do it? Mm -hmm. Why not? Uh -uh. I don't know. I don't know. Just can't not for you? Do you think that's the weirdest thing you've eaten? I think I can stick with chicken. I can stick with pork. Yeah, I can stick with beef. You know? The okay. common stuff. Okay. I don't like seafood. That that shocked me. But um. This was mid or what? No, it was decent. Would you, would you ever get it or no? Mm, I still gotta eat. Mm, mm -hmm. Easy to it, you know? I remember how warm to it? Mm, yeah. Right. They got a little spicy out of nowhere, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> that shit. Oh, this is a good one right here. This is probably gonna be the best one we do all night, y'all. If you was famous, what would you be famous for? What's crazy is before we met each other, it's always been a childhood dream of both of ours to be YouTubers. Not because other people do it, but like, we've always had that creative side to us. Like we've always had that connection with filming and editing. So us meeting together, it- It was like a click. It was like, um, everything is, yeah. Everything happens for a reason. And I feel like we can motivate each other to do it and keep up with it because, you know, with the day to day jobs we work, we don't really try to, we're just not motivated to do it. It's nothing we're passionate about, you know? But now that we have each other and we motivate each other, it's a wrap, y'all. So if you're here now, you'll see us every day. For real, it's a wrap now. I would say YouTube. YouTube? One of the many things. You'll probably be on fucking TikTok, Twitter, Instagram. You'll probably but, be on all platforms. Mm. See, I'm not somebody who like cares for social media. I know, but it's saying like, what would you be famous for? But I feel like you would be famous on all platforms. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. obviously YouTube, but I also have like a the spiritual business I do, where I give like spiritual guidance by giving readings and many different topics, areas like love, career, general reading, stuff like that, which that business has been doing very well. And um, also, like I said, my book, I know that it's going to go crazy. Talk about my testimony, my life story. I know it's gonna, I know it's gonna help. I want to help. My purpose in life is to help others heal, so I did a lot of healing because my childhood, my upbringing, is nothing close to how I look. Never, mm, I don't even wanna say it, but. Or acted, like the fact that people grow out of their childhood, it's fortunate. Some people can't, which is sad, like, but. Like, there's always, you know, two paths, and it's very fortunate and a blessing that I chose to keep persevering, you know, because him too. So all 
caveat, just keep getting through it. There's a way out, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And they believe in you. So my ultimate goal, being famous regardless, is not the fame, but it's really to help to other help people. help y'all. To help other people. Motivate y'all. Heal others. So teach you how to, or help you, guide you to heal yourself, you know? Yeah. There's someone out there that needs y'all help just like you need them. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a well, there's a way. <laughs> What's wrong with my corn? No. Last claw. Look how little that motherfucker is. Now look at the meat though. Look at that. Do you know when you're quiet and you're eating food? That's how you know it's good. If you guys hear a whining in the background, it's my puppy Linda. She's in her room right now. But in her room. Are you good or what, okay? Mm-hmm. Alright. Mm -hmm. You can fall off it or what? No? No. You going crazy? I'm taking my time. I don't need to rush. No? Not for sure. Because the seafood, I can't take my time. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to fuck it up. It'd be so good. Mmm. What is it? Mmm. 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 What are the top five qualities you most admire about me? I care about others. Mm -hmm. I so good. Mm -hmm. I hope they should eat. Alright, so what up? I got some clean motherfucking hands now, you hear what I'm saying? Oh Wait. shit, what'd I do? <gasps> what? I didn't shuffle, I didn't shuffle. Yeah. See? Okay, my bad. Because you're in categories. Sorry, I'm doing too much? Mm -hmm. My fault. Five qualities I, I admire most about D. He's intentional. Um, he's funny. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's adventurous. He's free spirit. Like he has a very free spirit. But, um, and he's very networking. Why are yours better than mine? I like to put thought into like. I was gonna say you're so smart. No, you're smart too. I know, I'm not saying I'm not smart. I'm just saying your brain, you're a teacher. You're just thinking good shit. You think of bigger words to say. No, even if I wasn't a teacher though. I'm just saying, babe, don't think too deep into what I'm saying right now. Mm-hmm. No. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. You could sit down with your 15 year old self, what would you tell him? Um, 
I would probably say yeah, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you said it best, shit, huh? You know? Yeah, yeah. Every every mom would have really is a growing and learning opportunity. I feel Especially like, perspective, you know? I feel like we all thought about that before, though. Like, you know, like, what would you tell your younger self now? And we've all had it run through our head. Like, I would tell him this, or I would tell him that, or here, or, you know, whatever. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that I've already fucking thought of, but... Me, you said the best, though, shit. What are you most grateful for right now? Not only God, but a roof over our head, clothes on our back, and food to eat. I feel like nothing can compare to that, especially if you have nothing. Something is the most important and valuable thing to you. So I feel like no amount of money at the end of the day can, you know, when you have it, you can say certain shit. But if you don't have it, you want a roof over your head, closing your back, and food in your stomach. You know, so no matter what, I stand by that, no matter what. Uh, if I haven't mentioned it, I'm a fifth grade teacher. And I was telling my students, like, you have to be grateful for the two feet you can stand on right now. To be able to, be, to even talk to people. You know, like, there's little things that we take for granted every day. And so, yeah, I agree. Like, for me, always, I'm always most grateful for God. The opportunities that he, and the blessings he, we have already, and he presents with us every single day that we don't even see sometimes. Yeah. But honestly, what I'm most grateful for is the evolution I've made for myself. Good one. Because I work damn hard. How far you came in here. And obviously there's always room for a lot more growth and stuff, but that's what I'm most grateful for. Celebrate how far you came now and not what you haven't done. Because I've seen like my perspective on things shift for like the better, healthier, you know? Mm -hmm. What's something you're deeply proud of but would never put on your resume? So, like I said, I've been doing a lot, like, you know, I've had a profound healing journey. Yeah. I went through that shit alone. I went through it alone. I did. So, going and getting professional help for myself, even when learning solitude, how to um, appreciate and find value in that. Like, betting on myself. As you should, Queen. Oh, hell no, you got this. Oh, shit. We have hands. How about you? Shit, I would say. I would say just never giving up, for real. Like, honestly. Just pushing, pushing, pushing. Even when you feel like you're not motivated or you feel like there ain't shit at the end of the road, just keep pushing. Just sometimes you just gotta motivate yourself, for real. Even if you don't know, like. Even if you're in the unknown, have no idea what mm -hmm. the shit's gonna, how things are gonna be. You're scared, fire. you don't know. Just go, just fuck it, do it. Especially if you ain't got shit to lose already, just. Throw that motherfucker, you feel what I'm saying? For sure. But, all right, go ahead, babe. Can you do one more card or what? Mm -hmm. One more card, I'm closed out. Mm hmm. What I was gonna say is. Oh, yes. We, we, closing, we closing this video out, but I'm gonna keep eating. But we appreciate you guys writing for this long. If you gotten this part in our video you are real ones comment below what would you have you know dipped your fingers in what what out of everything that we got most of you are probably gonna say the seafood boil i don't know you'd be surprised there's right. a lot of people that don't like seafood actually. you're right if you don't like seafood like i don't go ahead and give us but, a like give us a like but but a lot of mukbangs i have seen yeah, it's a majority seafood. seafood though. You don't see, just let us know in the comment and I'm definitely let us know what y'all want to see. What are you bored of? Doing the same. I, I need com I, before I was so used to like, you know, I was like, comfortable being the same, you know, same routine and stuff. But now I'm like in a constant flow of change. So I just need new things. I need new adventures. How about I say I feel like I got bored of the old way of living. Like now it's like we doing we doing shit. We acting productive. I would say like chasing dreams. Yeah. Ach achieving dreams. Being bored of our old life. Yeah. Now something new, random every day, and shit. I mean.
chasing our dream, just like y'all should be. So Dream big, plan small. This is DNA, coming at y'all again. <laughs> yeah, I be killing this shit tonight. And, I mean, shit, be back for the next video, y'all. Bye, guys. Thank you.